This tutorial is to show you how to create a QR code scavenger hunt. Uh, there was a part one to this that included creating a Google form uh, that automatically exports to a spreadsheet. You can choose to use that function if you'd like or you can just create a QR code scavenger hunt uh, but you won't necessarily have ongoing documentation of uh, how students answered particular questions that are posed in the QR code scavenger hunt. So I use classtools.net slash QR and it takes me to this page and it gives me very clear step-by-step -step directions. I just click on get started and the first thing I do is I provide the title of my quiz or the title of my QR code scavenger hunt. So I can say something like really original like scavenger hunt first day of school. And then I need to type or copy and paste questions and answers here in that particular format, making sure there aren't any spaces between the question, the asterisk, and then the answer. So I'm going to say and copy their exact format here and say, you know, there's my answer, here's question two, answer. And what you will find is that, uh, <laughs> I've made this mistake before. It has to have five questions. So uh, make sure that when you choose to do this, you actually have five questions in mind. Otherwise, they're not really searching for all that much in their scavenger hunt, are they? Uh, then you're going to provide a password so that you can edit the quiz later. I'm going to put in sort of a dummy password right now, A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four. And the questions themselves are turned into the QR codes. And then the answers are for your reference. And I'll show you how to make sure that you have that on hand later. I click on Create the QR Challenge. It says, here's the link to your completed QR treasure hunt. I click on that, and it will give me the specific notes. What do I need to do prior to the lesson? You know, they tell you to put, them, put students into groups, put them in pairs, put them however is going to work for your particular situation. Uh, you can ask the students to download a QR code reader. They give some suggestions. I also find Red Laser and Google Goggles to be really useful on mobile devices. I also usually suggest downloading a couple different QR code readers because sometimes one of them doesn't work. So you want to make sure that, or sometimes the QR code, if you're doing it out in the wild outside of your classroom, um, sometimes it just doesn't doesn't scan. So um, Having a couple is, is useful. And then it says print off these QR codes. If you click on that in a new tab, you will see that there is in fact a selection of pages. And when you print these up, each QR code will come up on its own separate page. It says on it question one of five, uh, if you want to give your students an extra challenge, you actually cut the QR code out all by itself. So they aren't prompted by, oh, which question is this? And they don't know that. Um, there's also this first page which you can print and place on the say the your uh, classroom door or the your front whiteboard um, that give them instructions so you ask students to come in scan this instructions QR code and that will um, prompt them to go find the other QR codes you can also see that it says the correct answers for the quiz can be found here if I click on that it will give me each of the questions I wrote as well as the answers. What I suggest you do with this is take a screenshot. So on the Mac you can use Shift Command 4 and highlight that entire area. You hear the little camera sound and you'll see over here on my desktop it's now taken a screenshot or I guess you don't see that because that's outside of the window of the screen but here I've got a screenshot that automatically went onto my desktop and I can save that picture for my reference later uh, instead of having to go online and, and find it here. Uh, for each of these quiz questions that's just another copy of uh, what I just showed you. Cut them out, place them around. This is everything that I described to you two seconds ago and down here they tell you how you can award points um, or other tips and ideas. So um, I hope this was helpful and happy hunting.